Did you see the next chapter from that American sitcom that talked about the U.S. leaving Afghanistan? What? What the fuck is this? The Taliban took her up. Riley. Is it confirmed? The Taliban took her up. Kabul might be next. Al's family's there. We're at the airport. Although there's so many people, I don't think I can do this. Listen to me. I am right there with you. My mom watches slash watch the show. What the fuck is this, dude? What the absolute fuck is going on? This can't be real, right? Bro. Made by the guy who made Big Bang Theory? Bro, I'd rather, bro, this is like, you know how I said like Steven Crowder doing like, uh, you know, the black scent is kind of like, uh, taking the long way to say the N word. I mean, this is basically building an entire show around, you know, just Islamophobia. I feel like a Bazinga moment. Okay. I need to see more of this show. The Taliban is about to take over Bazinga. Oh my God, stop. I need to see more of this show. Real version? Riley, is it confirmed? The Taliban took her up. Kabul might be next. Al's family's there. We're at the airport. Although there's so many people, I don't think I can do this. Listen to me. I am right there with you. There's a Chuck Lorre show about an Afghan interpreter coming back with his guard. The Afghan guy is an Indian actor born in South Africa. Riley. I can't. I'm going to be honest, dude. I don't know, like, what's worse, dude? American imperialism overall or this? Cali Bazinga? Stop. Oh, my God. The jokes are writing themselves, dude. Minx has only been in the U.S. for like a week. Calm down. Northern Ireland faces clown shortage. That's fucking hilarious, dude. If you ever call me Northern Irish again, I'll fucking steal your shoelaces. That's really funny, dude. I'm going to like that tweet. Sorry. I saw a clip from this show before. It was a woman yelling about the U.S. sucking in Afghanistan and then portraying her as the bad guy. Okay, we need more. I need more. I need more. Juice me up, dude. I need more. I need to see more of that fucking show, dude. This is a real synopsis of an episode that came out in the current year 2021. Al greets Riley's daughter, Hazel, and introduces himself as her godfather. On the video with Paul with his mother, Al is berated for wearing shorts as it's against his religion as a Muslim to do so. The following day, Al and Riley go to the DMV where Al becomes nervous after seeing that his female driving instructor, Paula, is also wearing shorts and as a result fails his driving test. Wanting to adjust to American societal norms, Al talks with Riley, Art, and an offended Lizzie to sort things out, deciding to avoid forcing his religious double standards on other people. In his following visit to the DMV with Paula as his driving instructor, Al overcomes his issues by acknowledging both Paula and himself are wearing shorts, only to become nervous once again after shop stopping at a traffic light. Next to a charity car wash with bikini clad women. What the f Bro, did white people write this show, by the way? Like, is that what happened? Is this just like, like what happened? Is this like an entire fucking Like, just a bunch of fucking white wasps, you know? A white wasp. A bunch of wasps that wrote the fucking... What? Now was a really bad time to air a sitcom about an Afghan interpreter for the U.S. military. There he is. There he is. Ow, over here! Oh. I 
want to see everything. Washington, D.C., Las Vegas. And what's the name of that place that sells peanut butter and brings it to you on a forklift? Costco. The whole time I served in Afghanistan, Al was my interpreter. Hey, hey welcome! Let me get you a beer. Dad, no alcohol. Right, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. No, your son should be sorry for talking to you with that tone of voice. <laughs> I like him. Daddy! Do you know that your Uncle Al is your godfather? Which some might say is even more important than an actual father. Mm, no one says that. You know I've said it before. How could you not tell me you were having marriage problems? I could have fixed it. From Afghanistan? It's not the moon. We have Wi-Fi. <laughs> I appreciate how much you want to help, but he couldn't make it work. Do you think you tried hard enough? He's the one who didn't try hard enough. He was probably exhausted from war. There was a lot of walking. Thank you for keeping my brother safe. As your godfather, I will protect you for the rest of my life. Will you be my godfather too? Get your own. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Yo, what's happening? You'll get used to it. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. Every single time I fucking watch shit like this, I am reminded of my earlier sentiment that drew, drew a lot of ire from the conservatives and even liberals about a particular day. My God. What the fuck is this? That soldier is kind of hot, though. That's the point, chatter. Bro, this is like... I see shit like this, and I'm like... I see shit like this, and I'm like, okay, like... It's not the worst thing, climate change, that is. It's not the worst fucking thing. You know what I mean? Here we are. What a beautiful home, mashallah. Yeah, mashallah. Oh, relax, man. You don't have to take your shoes off. What am I, an animal? <laughs> hey, warm here! A welcome! I am so happy to be here. I cannot thank you enough. There is no need. Your son helped me too. We helped each other. You must be exhausted. Well, it was eight hours from Kabul to Hamburg, then two hours to Heathrow, then my flight got canceled, and I waited six hours for the ten-hour flight to Atlanta, and then two hours to Columbus. So, yes, I am a little, uh... Riley, what is that wonderful word? Pooped. Pooped. <laughs> All right, let me get you a beer. Dad, what the hell, man? We talked about this. No alcohol. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. No, your son should be sorry for talking to you with that tone of voice. Why is he like... Why did they make the interpreter Sheldon? Like, they made him so bazinga. Like, they literally, he's literally shelled it. Like, he is the most bazinga fucking uh, Afghan dude that's actually technically uh, Indian from South Africa. Bazinga pilled? I'm so bazinga pilled right now. This is how I met your Muslim? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Halal Sheldon. I like him. <laughs> Come on, I made dinner. Oh. Dude, definitely. Chud, Chud Dad, 100% welcoming an Afghan interpreter to his home. Like, that's certainly what's going on. Chud Dad, certainly not just fucking watching Fox News every night as Tucker Carlson is like, Afghan refugees are animals and dirty and uh, they're going to murder your family. And going, hell yeah, he's fucking right. Like, yeah, that's definitely how this works. That's definitely how, uh, you know, wow, what a, what a wonderful bazinga. Allah, okay, stop. Stop using, stop putting bazinga into things, okay? I can't stop reading it. It's hurting my brain. Uh, don't forget, you can't have pork. Well, make up your mind. Are you a Muslim or are you Jewish? Dad! Ah, calm down. <laughs> Yeah, totally. For the record, anyway, I'm not gonna make a joke there, but <laughs> uh, 
I don't think an Afghan dude would react that way to that comment. All right, let's keep going. So what's going on with your family? They're safe for now, inshallah. Where? Kabul. Oh, I love it there. <laughs> you said Cabo, right? How would his family get to Mexico? There are Jewish people in Afghanistan. Why are you being weird? There is currently zero Jewish people in Afghanistan. There was one and he left. There were two. One of them died. The other one, the last one, literally recently, like um, a couple weeks ago, left. Mexico. I spent a spring. Also, this fucking like safe and couple, inshallah. Like, why? What is this accent? Why is he talking like this? Break in Mexico? I don't know how I got there. <laughs> All right, here we go. No pork, no booze. I'd say enjoy, but I don't see it happen. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Amen. So, Al, besides your family, did you leave behind anyone special? A girlfriend, maybe? No, I'm afraid not. How oh, come? You're a good-looking guy. Thank you. You are also very handsome. <laughs> it's just that I moved around a lot, and I could never tell anyone where I lived because the Taliban were hunting me. Yeah, dating's hard. Someday, I hope to have a wife who is as wonderful and beautiful as your wife. Really? You just got here and you're busting my chops? How could you not tell me you were having marriage problems? I could have fixed it. From Afghanistan? It's not the moon. We have Wi-Fi. <laughs> Whatever, man. Bazinga. That's a bazinga moment. That's a designated, certified bazinga moment. Like, wow, this is so gross, dude. This is like, wow. Like, <laughs> we are not at the moon. We have a Wi-Fi. Inshallah. <laughs> you people murdered 65,000 of civilians that look like me. <laughs> the bazingification of TV of this TV show. It's fine. Just leave it alone. Right? When do you see your daughter? I don't know. When her mother lets me. I keep telling him to get his act together and do whatever it takes to get her back. Does he listen? I bet he does not. Dad, come on, man. Leave it alone. Riley, your father has more wisdom than you and I put together. We should all kneel at his feet and learn from him. I've literally never seen, like, the people who wrote this show have never seen a Muslim person. I'm almost completely and entirely convinced that the writers of this writer's room have literally never seen, like, I'm not even saying, like, there's not a single Muslim American or anything like that, but, like, they've also never seen a Muslim person in general. Like, they've never been around one. I, it's just, like, every part of his, every, everything that he says is literally written by a white guy. Stay here as long as you want. I love this. I need more. I literally need more. I, I need so much more of this. Al enters a woman's room for the... This is, how, this is how my America is in my mind, of course. And they fucking bazinga, okay? They bazinga so fucking hard, baby. Oh, <laughs> Hey, yeah, right. and they're all politically ambiguous. Yeah, of course, dude. Your daughter is waiting for you to come home.
I'm very disappointed in you. So am I. Man, that is one happy kid. Of course she's happy. She's a child. She doesn't know anything. Hey, do me a favor. You stick your lower lip out. Why? That's how we pout in America. <laughs> I'm not pouting. I'm just concerned about everyone's health and safety. Well, there's nothing to be concerned about. How do you know the dog is not carrying some kind of disease? He gave it a bath. <clears throat> okay, so if I brought home a raccoon, I could keep it as long as it had a bath? Okay, this is, this is actually real. I mean, he's too young to feel this way about dogs. But yes, Muslims, <clears throat> especially older Muslims, 1,000% feel this way about dogs. That's, that's actually the, the fucking Muslim writer jumped out on this one. Dogs are domesticated, though. Yeah, dude. Yeah, tell, tell me more. They stole, they shot, this story was shot by UTA with the help of Jake Tapper and the folks at Atlas optioned it, but life happened. I got busy with other projects and things fell apart. CBS said they love my story and writing and hired me. What? Wait, what the fuck? He, I told a story about refugees a couple of years ago on Veterans Day with a humorous slant. I'm going to tell it again today, unfiltered. I love that they totally ripped off my story and turned it into a racist comedy, by the way. Wait, what? Military consultant and writer. I'm a military consultant and writer on CBS. Our worlds collided in a way I never anticipated. Our show's about the deep friendship between a U.S. Marine. Dude, I'm on fire right now. My mouth is on fire from this chicken tenders. That's why I keep pausing. Let's keep going. Yeah, consider it. <laughs> Look, I wish you'd just take a moment to appreciate how great this is for Hazel. Don't pretend this is about Hazel. This is about you trying to make her mother look bad. Yeah, and it's working. Like, surprisingly well. <sighs> I'm glad you're so pleased with yourself. But you know me. This creature and I cannot live under the same roof. So. You are going to have to choose. It's either him or me. Why aren't you saying anything? I was trying to figure out where else you could live. Thank you so much. Come on in. I'll open a bottle of wine. I don't drink. I know. To be fair, that's kind of true, too. White people literally care about dogs more than they care about brown people. Wait a minute, am I beginning to like this show now? <laughs> Loki How's it going? Awesome, even though everybody's mad at me for being a great dad. It must be so hard to be you. I mean, Vanessa just doesn't get it. I basically missed out on six years of Hazel growing up. Just making up for lost time. This is where you're supposed to agree with me. Okay, buddy. Where did you talk about it? Shut the fuck up. With me? I really want to. But those six years were not easy for Vanessa. Being a single mom was really tough. Come on, Hazel was the cutest, happiest baby ever. I mean, all the videos I got, she was always laughing and cooing. Those were curated, you ding dong. <laughs> what? They were baby recruitment videos. Nobody sends screaming baby videos to their husbands overseas because they'd never come home. 
<laughs> I never really thought about it. Just start thinking. Bro, he's such a ding Vanessa dong. Vanessa worked 12 That's hours right. a day. Picked the baby up from her mom's. Bro, he's literally a ding dong, dude. That is such a fucking Bazinga moment, dude. And now I'm also using Bazinga not as a derogatory term, but or as a pejorative, but actually as a positive. I, I'm I'm full Bazinga. Yep, that's right. Ah, Tala Bazinga. That's right, dude. I'm Bazinga pilled. Her to bed, then put makeup on before she went to sleep, just in case you skyped her in the middle of the night. She didn't have to do that. Of course she didn't. She wanted to. Wow. Look, she'll never know what you went through. And you'll never know what she went through. But when it comes to Hazel, you should listen to her. She put in the time. I am right about the dog, though. Sure. <laughs> That's all I wanted to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Bazingazi. Okay, I get that the U.S. had to waste trillions and kill thousands of innocent civilians after 9-11, but why do they have to make this show they went too far? I agree. This is a step too far. Look, I know the invasion of the Hague Act dictates that American service members and politicians cannot be tried in an international criminal court but, um, unless, you know, they want America to invade the Hague. But that certainly doesn't cover writers of a comedy show or Chuck Lorre. So I think that, you know, if we weren't such pussies, we would be exercising the power of the international criminal courts wherever we can. That's right. I'm saying throw Chuck Lorre in the Hague. How we doing? Good. I've uh, got the marble installed. Check it out. Okay. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Ooh. Although it's a little wonky over there. No, it's level. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> this is passable. This is hard to look at. Yet all of us are managing. Do you see how weird this is? Uh, not really. That right there should be a perfect 90 degree angle. Well, the counter is flat. So the wall is not perfectly vertical. Mm. And whose fault is that? The dead guys who built this house 100 years ago? <laughs> OK, this is my nightmare. This is my nightmare. You and I have very different nightmares. What's that supposed to mean? You know what? I totally see it now. We'll fix it. Get it how you want. I hope so. Yeah. OK, thanks for your input. What are you doing? There's nothing wrong with this wall. I know. We'll just throw some fresh paint on it and make him feel like he did something. That guy does not deserve this bathroom. He should take care of his business in the woods. <laughs> hey, one more thing. Hey, hey, hey. That's a $2,000 toilet. It's for my ass, not yours. Yeah, he's sorry. Don't speak for me. Fine. I'm sorry. What are you sorry about? What do you got? <laughs> Use the top-notch epoxy. I will know if you cheap out on me. Goes without saying. And yet, I'm saying it. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Dude, I know you got a lot going on, but you got to keep your powder dry. My powder is very dry. This is his house, OK? Whatever he says, the answer is yes, boss. I understand. Good. What kind of an idiot spends 2000 I love when no one has, uh, like, I love when this dude has, like, zero animosity towards the motherfuckers that, like, murdered his people. And now he's just like, yeah, bazinga. Why are you supporting a show that steals stories from small creators? What? Because I fucking, I hate small creators. That's why. dollars on a toilet i don't know maybe not gonna lie is the best acting yet that 
the vet straight licking the homeowner's boots clean. Yeah. There's some truth there. You know, his wife cheated on him. He cheated on his wife. Constantly drinking. Getting cucked uh, as a contractor over and over again. Now, of course, there's a, there's a reason for this portrayal. Someone in the chat also brought up something similar to that. And that is like, here you have the, the perpetually happy Afghan who's like so happy to be liberated in America. Okay? He's so happy to be liberated in America, no longer in the throes of the, of the bad Taliban. You know what I'm saying? Dude, 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 stop. Just stop. You're fucking losing your mind a little bit. Okay. I, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to. Okay, dude, here, take a week off. Okay. Article about you. Not sure if you've seen it. Yeah, this is completely, this is like a complete falsehood. I love doing IRL streams and I do them regularly more than most other like desktop streamers. And the fact that this fucking garbanzo website that literally just like straight rips LSF fucking clips like a bunch of goddamn vultures would like literally write such a thing. Isaac McIntyre is psychotic. I just said, I want to do more. I said more in that video. I said, I want to do more in the video. Why are they like this? What a complete, like, psychopathic thing to do. Hey. Even if true, who cares? Get the bag. No, I like. I literally have my own personal IRL backpack. I have my own personal IRL backpack. Something that many streamers don't. Wonder why. You see, my girlfriend is not African American. She's just American. I've never even been to Africa. Well, most African Americans haven't either. <laughs> As you can clearly see, my girl. Dave Smith comic wants to know when you're going to oppress him. I'm curious. Dude, who the fuck is Dave Smith comic? Like, wha what? Motherfucker, this is a Bazinga broadcast. I don't know what the fuck you're coming in here with some bullshit. Dave Smith comic. Like, to me, to me, it's basically the same as, like, coming into the stream and being like, my uncle fucking don't, doesn't like you, dude. What do you have to say about that? It's like, I don't know, man. Fuck your uncle. How about that? Come on, dude. He was a fucking valedictorian. Like, what the fuck? Any takes? My stepfather does not like you. Any takes? Any comments? It's like, okay, I don't care. I don't know who the fuck that is. Stop linking me as shit. I'm not going to click on some fucking weirdo loser. All right, let's California. Keep going. Instead, I'm going to... The biggest downside of Big Collabs, a bunch of new weirdos in the chat. Yeah, I mean, that's wonderful, though. Like, probably not, though. To be honest with you, I, I feel like because of my lackluster performance at shit camp overall, because I was just, like, 
in fucking pain half the time. I, I don't think I picked up many people. If anything, I probably lost fans who are like, oh, I fucking hate this dude now. And, uh, you know, I can't believe it. I just saw his, like, um, you know, I saw the fucking clip on L7. I fucking hate him now. You know what I mean? You had 90k watching at the range? Yeah, but... So, if anything, there's, like... You were at shit camp? I didn't notice Lud cropped you out? Okay, fuck you, dude. What were you saying about the perpetually happy Muslim? He got interrupted earlier and I was interested. No, they are portraying him specifically as this kind of, like, incredibly grateful Muslim guy who was... Um... Who was basically... Who was basically like, uh, who's eternally grateful to the United States of America because the United States of America saved him and saved his people. Saved his people from the oppressive uh, Taliban regime. Hey. Hey. I got a frisbee. Want to play? I don't have time for that right now, Hazel. Come on, it's important. How can that possibly be important? My friend Isha said that in 10 years, they're gonna have Frisbee at the Olympics and I'll never be good enough to make the team. What a wonderful and supportive friend. I wanna get good so I can rub it in her face. Throw it to me. Dad said you guys used to play Frisbee when you were waiting to go on missions. It's true. It helped take our minds off of the danger. Are you doing this to get me to stop worrying about my family? Maybe. But also because I want an Olympic medal and it's not looking like I'm gonna make the women's basketball team. <laughs> was it hard for you when your father was so far away? Sometimes I would have dreams that he was home and I'd wake up and be sad. Yes. I have those. You know what helps? Frisbee. So, what is it you like about this friend, Isha? She wears a bra. <laughs> okay, this sucks. Uh, um... People in Stockholm always live in massive houses. Are they all Twitch streamers? Yeah. Oh, Channel 5, new clip. Okay, what? so the homeless do not actually want help. It's unfortunate. It's a mental illness and it's drugs. Even if you give someone housing, you're, they're still going to be doing drugs and have the same mental... That's wild, dude. What a take. Yeah, you should just fucking... How do you deal with that? I, I, like, even if it's true, which it's not... But even if it's true, like, well, what's up? Are we just like, oh, dude, they just, you can't. You just simply can't do that. You can't be out here uh, helping people. Also, oh my God, the girl in the sign. Literally has a sign that says, I smoke crack with Hunter Biden. Oh my fucking God, dude. Mental illness, so it's got to be like, I don't know, a program for mental health. Because if you ask some of the people, most actually, to be honest, if you ask them if they want a place to stay and live, no, they want to be where they want to be. I mean, I know people personally who have ended up in the streets and they want to be there. They literally chose, like they had a life and they're like, no, I want to go live there. It's kind of unfortunate and it's kind of like... I don't know, like it has to be mental health and that could clean up a lot. I, it, that's so hard because also like mass institutions like that always go corrupt, so I don't know. The problem is, is that like, to be honest, a lot of the homeless are probably going to always stay homeless. It has to start at childhood. And like, unfortunately, that, like the school system now is so messed up and like, they, everyone has a bunch of trauma and the school systems are- Is she literally like talking herself into like understanding 
systemic oppression, like struggles that are a consequence of systems? Like, is that, I feel like she's exhausting on her own the multiple different uh, reasons for why people are the way that they are. And it's like getting, arriving at the fucking truth. I don't know how. It's such a weird clip. I love it. Once again, Channel 5, doing it again, dude. Start preying on that. And kids that are just growing up with in their homes and at school with mental health. They're just not like, not, they don't know therapeutic practices. And this is why they're ending up on the streets. Um, she, I actually didn't know you were going to say all that because you're literally right about everything. Um, my best friend photographs homeless people. He's been doing it for, I think, 10 plus. The fuck? My best friend photographs homeless people? Bro, what kind of job is that? Dude, dude what kind of fucking job is that, dude? What's up? My friend's a weird kind of pervert, dude. <laughs> just kidding. She's just saying her best friend is an art student. Come on, it's art. Photographing homeless people equals art. That's what that is. Plus years spends days, nights with them, and he was like, you don't understand, these people can't integrate into society. I mean, they don't want to either. Um, it is a mental health situation, it is a drug problem, and I think the most humane thing we can kind of do is, unfortunately- Can we get art major subs? Come on, I, get, I fucking let you art major subs eat today, okay? I looked at it, okay, buddy, come on, come on, let me make fun of it a little bit, come on. Only, like, against their will, force them to maybe be in places where we can make sure they're at least safe, try to get okay. them better and if not it's just not fair because it's so dangerous to the people like i um i see naked guys on the street yeah. every day bottom line like you can't have them there you need to figure something out and it is uh it's just it's a really difficult issue to discuss but unfortunately you know when it's when you leave it up to them what the fuck is that that's some tos shit what's he doing you know i hung out with that guy i can't tell if it's a tos shit or not i hung out with him at fucking andrews you can't leave things up to crazy people. This place that they're going to end up going to, is it like a, a jail or is it like a is it like a wilderness retreat or is it somewhere in between? So I think we need to build places that are not. No, no, it was censored already, but I don't know what was what he was showing. Maybe a dead person. Jails, not mental hospitals, but there needs to be a very okay. I would say a mental hospital, but a lot more humane, um, and more like apartment housing and just something humane. It needs to be good, and both sides need to come together on that because it's sickening. You can't say you care about people. Yeah, perhaps like uh, I don't know, permanent shelter. That seems like a good place to start. Wow. So maybe like the government pays for it or rather we pay for it with our taxes. That's kind of cool, right? This is what I mean. If you ever like catch a fucking Trump supporter. If you ever catch a fucking Trump supporter in a convo like this, like I'm not saying they're agreeable. I'm not saying they're not fucking uh, psychotic or anything like that. But if you ever catch a Trump supporter like this, you can basically get them to admit certain things like public housing is actually good. Just don't use those terms. And also don't portray yourself as a communist. Another thing you can get a lot of Trump supporters to admit is uh, amnesty for immigrants that have been living here for a very long time. But like, you gotta fucking, you gotta, you gotta grab them at the, at the right mindset. Because if you push forward a little bit, They'll immediately fucking shell up or clam up and turn around and tell you that it's top of the hour and right now there's a six second hour break coming, right? Like, so you gotta be mindful of what you say to Trump supporters because if you don't, when the ad break comes, <clears throat> they'll forget to even, they'll forget to even let you know that, you know, you can avoid watching said ads uh, by subscribing um, either for, either for uh, $4 a month because it's the last day of September or subscribing for free with a Twitch Prime, right? Or if you don't want to subscribe by using an ad block or a VPN, and that's how you can avoid the ad break that is coming right now at the top of the fucking hour. Here it is.
You're giving me trust issues with these segues? Yeah, I'm sorry. No one cares about the small streamers. That's why they get no views. I'm going to be boosting my channel like crazy to stay ahead. Stay small and get fucked, nerds. Would you smoke crack with her? I might. No, I would not smoke crack with her, but I can fix her. I can fix her. And then step over bodies on the street. I can't even believe people go in the ocean in LA. Can you imagine like the feces and everything that are going into the water? Man, it's disgusting. What also scares <laughs> me is like, this is kind of off topic, but it's really scary walking your dogs around there. Um, yeah. Feces, needles, um, chicken bones, because they- Bro, this is the best cop in America. I love him. Give them chicken wings. Look at this fucking guy, dude. I love that they're fucking focusing on him too. Like they're they're switching over the focus. Wings and dogs choke on them and die literally all the time. It's it's just another sad factor. Do you guys live in LA? The worst part about homelessness for me is when dogs choke on the chicken wings that they're leaving for homeless people out there because the bones are there and they're d tasty and delicious. Also, homeless people are crackheads and uh, unfixable. Great. That's a. Uh... I'm sorry to fucking keep repeating myself, but white people care more about dogs than they care about poor people. White people care more about dogs than they care about brown people. Save the dogs. Put the fucking homeless people in camps. Is she Bazinga pilled? Yes, dude. Every conservative automatically, by definition, is Bazinga pilled. The concept of Bazinga is a lifestyle created to, to be apolitical. Of course, nothing is apolitical. And therefore, the most apolitical content is the most political content. But yes, it is correct that. Um, these are some of the most bazinga pilled people on the planet. Yes, downtown. Yes, downtown LA. How do you feel about downtown LA? It has gone down the gutter completely. There's so many. There was literally never a time in this fucking like 20 year old girl's life where downtown was not in the gutter. Like downtown was, if anything, it was worse, dude. What the fuck? When has downtown been like a good place? It's literally always been the gutter. Many homeless. It is horrible. All the money to clean up the homeless. What has Newsom done with it? I don't know. Probably it is. What's up with people wearing this shit? Rihanna went wore this uh, a few days ago. Conservatives went wild. I think while it's still legal. Oh, can you not tell what this shirt is? It's literally the most like I bought this at the fucking MAGA store t-shirt. You can like, and also Corinna is wearing this. So you click on it and then send it to me and other people, you know what I mean? So like people will talk about it and you took the fucking bait. Fix her Hassan. I cannot. It's Vetmon, is it? No fucking shot, dude. This literally looks like this literally looks like a T-shirt that you got from the fucking Nelk Boys store or some shit. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. There is no way you will never make me believe that. Think while it's illegal oh my god it's actually vetmon oh my god vitamins or whatever however you fucking say it oh my god oh my fucking god are you are you serious
Sounds about right for Gemna Zvalia. Dude, he's like... Betmon is like... And, and Gemna is like a fucking Bernie, bro. Wasn't it, uh, wasn't it, uh, uh, Demna Gvasali or however you fucking say his name? Wasn't he the one who did the Balenciaga fucking Bernie shit? Looks like they went the way of the door. Yeah, I saw this. I saw this. Brianna makes a political statement in a slogan t shirt as she's headed to a studio in New York City. Think while it's still legal. It is such a what the fuck is this, dude? Jank political commentator Jank Uger responds to some criticism of his recent comments concerning podcast host Joe Rogan. I'll make a thousand dollar donation to your trash network or charity of choice to see you call Rogan, who is not only the most successful podcast in history, but also a black belt in mixed martial arts, a loser to his face. Deal. Easiest $1,000 I ever made. You think he's going to assault me? Sure, whatever. That's incredibly dumb. But it also wouldn't work. I'm much larger than Joe and I fought my whole life. I'll end him, but grown-ups don't do that. I'll send you the P.O. box to send check later. What? I, I don't know how, what to say to this. I'm literally at a loss for words, dude. I, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I mean, he's much bigger than Manlet Joe. Jank is kind of a Manlet too, number one. Two, he is actually very, like, he's a very good fighter. I mean, he is a very, very good fighter, but Joe Rogan probably would still clap him because he is an actual fighter. A fighting fighter. And that's very different. If you're if you can train, that's entirely different than just like you guys saying more? All the loser Joe Rogan fans crying over my attack on his freedom, hypocrisy, and stupidity. Are you guys part of the crew or do you kiss ass for fun? I thought he was a big boy who could handle himself. If he doesn't like my free speech, he can grow a pair and defend himself. He's just like you for real with the tweets. Wait, dude, shut the fuck up. I mean, I... I don't know what he's doing here, dude. Who would you bet on? Your uncle has to worry about this? Keep the light now because I ain't got a body pad on. So don't give me too hard. <laughs> Bro, look at my man's fucking HGH gut, like. He's got the bubble gut, dude. You can't fuck with this, dude. Don't fight a motherfucker with bubble gut, dude. Okay? It's from three years ago, but he's still juicing. It's not like he's... He's so horribly proportioned. Dude, he literally is a... He's like a gorilla, dude. He literally is a gorilla with shorter arms. Jordan Peterson is literally in blackface. What? Friend radio. What? No, he's not. What the fuck?
Okay, okay, we'll look at Joe Rogan and Jank in a second. What was I watching? I want to finish this. Pocket. Also, defunding the police. Yeah. You call the police six times and no one shows up. And why would you? You guys all shit on them and said they're all horrible people. Well, yeah, like... I'll That's how this works, actually. Yeah. When, when people's feelings are hurt, despite the fact that you're giving them, like, seven gorillion dollars a year to buy tanks and shit, they're like, well, my fifis are hurt, so I'm not going to respond to this call. And that's how things are supposed to work. That's just how it is. That's right. Oh, thank you for the seven gorillion dollars a month, dude. Not showing up to this call now because my feelings are hurt. Fucking own, dude. LA got defunded by what, 46 million or something like that? And I'm like, yeah, of course. And the crime has gone up. And they're like, yeah, so you guys are the ones that suffer the most. And I'm like, yeah, we do. Yeah, Camel Toe cheated. Who's Camel Toe? Kamala Toe. Camel Kamala Harris. What is that referencing? <laughs> I know I can't talk about it. It's just everyone knows that's how <laughs> that's how she's known. I don't want to say it right now. I smoked crack with Hunter Biden. How was it? To fully disclose, because I've been asked this 8,000 times, I did not actually smoke. Someone in the chat earlier says she looks like a white Meghan Markle. She does. It's like white Meghan Markle or like, like Chris, Kirsten Wig Meghan Markle mixture. You know what I mean? Like Kirsten Wig and Meghan Markle just merged. Mega Markle. <laughs> Crack. It is a joke because conservatives still have humor. We don't all. That's right, dude. That's right. Conservatives still have humor. Like, totally. That's what I'm always thinking about. I'm like, fuck, man. Conservatives still have humor. We are funny. The right can meme. All need to be serious and, and angry. angry. I know. No one likes an angry woman. No. Have you ever smoked crack before? <laughs> Not yet. Would you? Maybe with Hunter. You had to pick one person. To oh my God! Even, even the the the, the uh, conservative lady cannot fucking resist the charms of sexy ass Hunter Biden, dude. Hunter fat cock Biden wins again. Hunter Biden doesn't even know she exists, and here he is, literally like proverbially clapping her cheeks that's wild to me dude you think she feels that way about Don donald trump jr no shot no fucking shot dude that's right she horny horny for real dude hunter is loki sexy as heck with his new veneers Smoke crack. Bro, this guy's been trying to get me to read this so much. A rare medical complication caused the man to ejaculate from his anus. And this guy's just like, please, you have to read this article. It's safe for work. I'm not. I don't care. Just because something is safe for work doesn't mean it's safe for life, motherfucker. That, that just looks awful. I, I just don't want to know about that, you know? With Besides Hunter Biden, who would it be? Oh, my God. Alex Jones. No, Obama. Obama? Yeah. Obama or Alex Jones? I love Alex Jones a lot. He's been right about everything. Everything? Here he is right here. Okay, maybe not two right things. Alex him. Jones is always right. <laughs> Alex Jones is daddy. I, I saw him speak uh, January 5th in DC before the 6th. He was there. I was he was there. I met this guy, like I said. He bought me ice cream. Well, I mean, I, not me. I didn't have the ice cream, but um, yeah, they're crazy, dude. <sighs> Who's that guy? He's like the fucking He's like a guy. He is the guy, the guy from one of the other Andrew movies. 
uh, where he's like, uh, oh, dude, I love this uh, TikTok. We'll look at this in a second. Um, he's the guy, dude. The fucking guy. His name is Kelly. Yeah, whatever. He has like a problem. Some guy stole his identity or something. I think he was met. I think Andrew met him at the fucking white pride rally or whatever. With Roger Stone and some others. The recall and the vote's going to be in tomorrow. Uh, but they'll probably manipulate the vote over the next several days and weeks. So I've already heard about people who go in to vote and they say, we already have your vote. And they're saying, wait a minute, my, here's my original ballot. So they're already starting to cheat. Dude, Chad is so cute. Like, this is like the cutest fucking chatter, dude. Did he just self-report as an insurrectionist? Bro, you think he gives a fuck? Like, these people are, they're not going to face any punishments, dude. It's cute, though, that you think that, you know. That's the real thing. Yeah, he said Kobe Bryant was assassinated by the... You met a white pride dude and he bought you ice cream? And you didn't eat it? Yeah, because I didn't want to get reimbursed. I didn't want him to ask me for reimbursing him for the ice cream. Trying to cheat. Do you know what a camel toe is? No. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Oh, my God. I don't want to explain this on... Google what a camel toe is. Kelly, do you know what a camel toe is? Uh, I believe a camel toe is the bottom part of a camel's toe that inverted very interestingly also looks like maybe a female portion of the anatomy that I would say that would be called down south. Wait, your pants are too... Zani, you probably got some new juicer fans since all you do is defend them. Here's a TikTok on how to educate them. Sort of like the, um, the bourgeois have been performing deep Bro, come on, come on, come on, dude. Stop linking Wait, you're under your pants. Here, what up, us three? Wait, us three, come on. Okay. What? Us three. Oh, oh they want to, they, they find him hot. Camel toe, Sleepy Joe. <laughs> Camel toe and Sleepy Joe. What a couple. What a team. Camel toe and Sleepy Joe. Camel Toe and Sleepy Joe, they all gotta go. Take Newsom with you, Newsolini, Grusolini, they're terrible. Throw in a little mustache, he looks just like Hitler. He tries to be like Hitler, they use COVID as a scam to get Trump out of office, to get mail-in voting, to manipulate the votes, just like they're gonna try to manipulate this voting for Governor Newsom. Let me tell you, the people of California hate Biden. We like freedom, we like liberty, we like choice except well not except but the choice the women need to make choice not to abort their babies and use birth control so that's where we have a difference on choice that's called pro-life and that's called protecting the babies we need we need biden now wasn't this guy at the proud boys riot motherfucker that guy wasn't just at the proud boys riot okay he was literally like at the january 6th insurrection he just said in the video he was like, yeah, when I was at uh, January 5th, I saw Alex Jones. He was doing a great job. It looks like you got the itis, brother. Dude, why you got to fucking call me out like that, dude? Also, apparently the itis is uh, a racist to say. Um, it actually apparently originally had the N-word in front of it. It is 1,000% racist. Okay, dude. I'm literally describing it to the chatter who may or may not have known it, okay? A lot of people in here probably did not know. Okay, shut the fuck up. I learned it from boondocks as well. If that's racist, then so is picnic. It's silly. Wait, what? What the fuck's the etymology of picnic? Yeah, it's a black term. All my family and I use it. I mean, I literally learned it from Boondocks. And it's about eating, um, like, southern food. And how, because it's, like, oily, it makes you kind of tired after you eat it. I'm black, by the way, brother. I'm just saying. I don't know. Did you debate Jimmy Dore on vaccines? 
I don't know if I should ban this person or just like keep him in the chat for fun. What a psychotic question. We need Camel Toe out. We need Newsom out. And we need to get rid of Bill Joyner too. He's got to give that home back. Out. react to that video of Dave Rubin calling you out? Wait, what? Really? For the record, Picnic does not have racist origins. Got him. Fucking own, dude. New Jon Stewart With show? Oh, God. Let's see if this is whack. The VA are saying is that they just don't have the proof, the scientific evidence that exposure to benzene and dioxins in burning pits made soldiers sick. And the VA and the DOD keep paying for studies to find the proof, using data provided to them by the Pentagon. But lo and behold, those studies are inconclusive. Hmm. So may I be of service? <laughs> Here's a classic. How would you like your science? Oh, dude, this is going to be some real fucking cringe lip tart shit. From Pert Plus model Dan Rather. Exposure to benzene fumes is toxic, a widely suspected cause of blood disorders, including leukemia. How about some science from Chris Wallace looking like Chris Pratt playing Chris Wallace? A preliminary government study strongly suggests that the chemical dioxin caused... Oh, he looks like Tucker Carlson. Yo, oh, these homies look... Oh my God, dude. This is like Chris Wallace of Fox Nose looking right... At the camera, looking like a young Luigi or a Tucker Carlson. This is cancer in humans. Or maybe you'd like some science from the EPA. They're right down the hall from you. They work in your building. The health risks associated with dioxin are greater than previously suspected. Or just maybe the DOD want their science from a memo that they wrote to their fucking selves because in 2009 the dod issued an official internal environmental regulation that acknowledged quote burn pits inherently create health issues and should be terminated as soon as practical in order to protect the life health and safety of u.s centcom and coalition personnel and in 2010 the va circulated an official internal memo telling va medical examiners to be on the lookout for conditions related to the exposure of these chemicals, particulate matter, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, volatile organic compounds, dioxins, and furans. I got a piece of paper I've left Afghanistan that said if you get cancer in the burn pit, it'll be paid for. That's how they solved it, lol. Respect. We know typical military shit. The chemicals from burn pits are the same chemicals in Agent Orange and the same chemicals at Ground Zero. And we know exposure to those chemicals makes you sick. We know. They know. We know they know. And now I think they know that we know that they know. <laughs> so why is the VA denying these claims? Well, no surprise. The reason is money. He was a healthy guy when he got back. He was a healthy guy while he was out there. But then you want to say, oh, no, if, it's, if it doesn't get... If they don't see symptoms within oh the my fucking God, dude. first 12 months of them coming back and he doesn't get a diagnosis, forget it. They're screwed because they don't see it as it's service related. The VA's new model is uh, uh, delay, deny, hope you die. Wow. Delay, deny, hope you die. There's a slogan for our flag pins. So now veterans are dying and going bankrupt because the DOD and the VA are forcing them to indisputably prove a connection that they already internally admit exists. 
And what makes it so incredibly demoralizing is that they are holding the veterans to a standard of proof far beyond the one our own government used to send them to war in the first place. We cannot wait for the final proof, the smoking gun that could come in the form of a mushroom cloud. They couldn't wait for the final proof in their effort to protect us all from being exposed to the terrible health effects of a toxic cloud. We went there to find weapons of mass destruction, and when they weren't there, we made our own. Oh man, I wish Jon Stewart was just like, at the very least, at the very, very, very least, fucking, I don't know. Focus more on capitalism. That was good, man. Why do you just like John? He's always been super against war and stuff. No, I, I loved John Stewart, man. When I was growing up, like, I don't give a fuck. I, I, you know, he was incredibly important for me uh, when I was growing up. I respect my elders. And uh, I respect people who have influenced me. Also, on the other hand, though, sometimes I feel like he's washed. John Oliver shows us rat porn. I don't know, man. When this Apple show was announced, I literally fucking thought to myself, like, Joe Rogan guest responding for shitting on them on the Jerry podcast. The consequences of being dumb. Part of the problem. Dave Smith. Why would I, why would I watch this? When I found out that Jon Stewart was doing a show, I was uh, a little worried because I feel like his latest stuff is going to be just like lib as fuck. I have to use the work truck sunglasses, but it's a little problem. Instant racist. Just see, it's just I can't, I can't, I can't wear. Yo, Tim the Tap Man, dude, looking crazy. I forgot my sunglasses. Oh man, get the YouTube bag and look at him. Uh, so I have to use the work truck sunglasses, but it's a little problem. Instant racist. Just. So the funny thing about this is not necessarily that it's just, what, what is this? Hassan. What do I rank Hassan? He let me steal his hat. Points for. He never stayed over. Points against. Honestly, I didn't mind living with Hassan. The worst part about it is every time he would drive me places, right after we would get out of the car, he would say, Hey man, check your Venmo. I just sent the request. Can you please reimburse me? You can do it tomorrow. It's not a big deal. He's literally wearing my hat. I gave him the necklace off my neck last night because he asked for it. I'm so mad. <laughs> and I paid for his Wagyu when we did the IRL stream together. Oh my God. Fucking asshole, dude. And I literally didn't stay at the house so that people could have a, like additional sleeping space. I'm going to lose my fucking mind. And it's like, I get it, but it's like, it was just weird how much he kept. Like he did kept... you ask for the Venmo? No, you fucking idiot. He's joking. It's called a joke. It's called ribbing. Okay. That's what friends do, okay? Like, I'm joking. I'm not actually mad at Ludwig. Oh, my God. But some of you motherfuckers actually make me reconsider that, okay? Because, unfortunately, some of you literally cannot comprehend that. Like, you just don't have any friends, I guess. I don't know what it is, like... Pushing it, you know what I mean? Blood's so good at taking it, but he's even better at dishing it out. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. He sucks, dude. 
but he also insisted on driving. And every time I said, isn't this higher than the gas prices? He would go, bro, I'm a political streamer. You literally don't know how high they are. I don't know. I don't get it. Anyway, B tier. <laughs> Azan, what do I rank? I have acquaintance like that. It's hella annoying to hear them do that to people. Dude, I would never do that. Are you fucking insane? I would literally never in a million fucking years do that. Oh my God, I'm gonna lose my mind. I hate this. I hate that it's like... I mean, ultimately, I don't give a fuck because, like, who cares? Honestly, your life seems so sad. Me and my friends are actually nice to each other and don't drag each other publicly, so no, can't relate, bud. Oh, I didn't realize you and your friends were all um, famous content creators that are also trying to entertain people. That's cool, though. Um, you know, all 88 views probably came from your eight friends who follow you, I suspect. Is that how that happened? I mean, that's pretty cool, too. Don't get me wrong. What's up, dude? <laughs> that's right, dude. Pretty fucked that he's shitting on you after you drove him around your Porsche all week. Dude, literally, I agree. I, he's 100%. It is absolutely fucked. I drove him around the entire week in my fucking Porsche. That I bought for a million dollars. Anyway, B tier. <laughs> hey, you know what? Actually, D tier. <laughs> Assad's going to get so mauled because he knows that there's 21,000 people here. 20, like 1,990 people will get that. That's a joke. 10 people won't get it's a joke. Like I rented out the Porsche and I kept saying, oh. <laughs> it's not 10 people, dude. It was like 10,000 upvotes on that fucking reimbursement thing. I wish it was 10 people. What is this? What the thumbnail to Lud's most recent video looked like before Lud did his creative editing. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even joking when I say if this was the picture, I would crop out Hassan. I would 100% crop out Hassan here. This thumbnail, this is what the thumbnail will look like. This is bad. This is good. This is a... What... You realize anyone can upvote, right? You realize that there were 4,000 comments. Like, are we really going to do this, like, Hassan is exaggerating uh, people hating him thing? Like, like, are we really doing that? I, I mean, that's insane, right? Like, I, am, I, am I being gaslit currently? There's, like, fucking 4,000 comments being like, fucking social. <laughs> like, <laughs> why are you guys doing this right now? This is my community. You're not you're not supposed to fucking literally deny. <laughs> Sometimes I do feel like I'm losing my mind a little bit. That's not even a joke. Like I I mean, you make it a big part of stream, that's your choice and I respect it. Just because people shit post you doesn't mean they hate you. No, there is a difference between someone Persecution Complex Andy? Oh my god. Okay. I have a wonderful community that I love. Okay? And my community loves me as well. I go through the shit posts on my own. It's called OK Buddy Hassan. There's a difference between someone shit posting and someone being like, you're... Okay, you guys are literally trying to stun lock me currently, so I'm not going to fucking do it. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Okay. You told us we aren't friends. Now you want us to just be yes, man. God, make up your mind. Wait, what? 
friends shouldn't be yes men anyway. You've had two hate posts every week for months now on LSF. Like, not only that, but motherfuckers are like, dude, no one hates you. Dude, I not only have hate posts like twice a week on LSF, I have hate posts in the media. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is this take? Like, Now I'm getting hate posts on. Now I'm getting hate posts on fucking Twitter and also in the media too. Can't believe Jack Sectic guy and Hassan were on the Free Guy movie. Okay, let's watch this. What the fuck? Yes, that's a lightsaber, dude. Hmm, that's right. That's a lightsaber, dude. That's right. I'm fucking soy facing right now. Are we doing bants later? Yes! That's a lightsaber, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a lightsaber, dude. I'm a fucking gamer, okay? <laughs> is that a lightsaber? It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that was Thank you for putting that side by side chatter because it's exactly how that person talked. Linus Tech Tips on Instagram? What is this? What? Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? What the? No. I'm worried that our build for Hasanabi was not going to live up to its left leaning red promises. What the fuck? Let me assure you. <laughs> <laughs> it will. Oh my god! I don't know what the best thing about this setup is. The cable management, the fact that the PC is an Xbox, or the word count. That's insane, dude. What the fuck? Okay, that's that's crazy. That's actually crazy. That's so sick. That's crazy. If you were worried that our build for Hasanabi was not going to live up to its left-leaning red promises. Such a shame the case is shit for temps. What do you mean? Bro, what do you mean such a shame the case is shit for temps? It's Linus Tech Tips, dude. Okay? I'm, I think he probably knows better than you, Chatter. What the fuck kind of take is that? I know what temp stands for. R33, S3, SP13, C3, S. Thank you for elaborating that it's I don't know, temperatures. I'm going to go ahead and assume that Linus fucking tech tips is probably knowledgeable on, you know, whatever is going on there. Linus is a CIA plant trying to thermally throttle your PC to stop the spread of leftism. Oh 
Why were you so pressed about getting reimbursed for the firearm stream? Because I want to take your mother on a nice seafood dinner. Because I'm fucking her tonight. And I'm a little low on cash. I fucked your mom. Chatter. Oh. I had sexual intercourse with your mom. With your mother, dude. That's right. When you stop streaming, a lot of people will be out of a job. What do you mean? Hey, bro. In case you didn't know, tech stands for technology as well. That's why Linus uses it in his name. Don't worry, I got the best people investigating these claims of high temperatures. Is that is that Miskiff? And Pokimane? Also, I've been clip complex has been on fire this month. Oh yeah, dude, I've been giving him fucking meat, dude. Just so much meat. Okay, chatters. Here's something pretty serial. Okay. Um, we're back. However. No, there's not going to be gaming right now. We're back. However, OJ's other love. Thank you for the 25. Get the subs. No, there is no gaming today. Now, the reason for it, there's no gaming today is because we were, you know, watching this Afghan thing. Uh, just kidding. It's because I just didn't want a game. Um, but I'm, I'm going to be ending the broadcast soon. And by soon, I mean, I'm going to run the last three minute ad here. So I'm going to do a short one. Now, the reason why I'm going to do a short one today, despite not streaming uh, the day before and only streaming the gun stream the day before, is because, yes, I am ditching to literally go hang out with these people that are here. Now, it doesn't end there. Tomorrow, there is the soda pop and roast. Yes, I will be hanging out with Soda Poppin tonight. And then I will be roasting him tomorrow. I apologize for the short six-hour stream. I have no fucking idea how I'm going to roast the most, like, unroastable person on the planet. Um, here's the three-minute ad, by the way, the last one of the day. And... Um, after the soda pop and roast, I wanna, I kind of want to do an IRL stream. Not recording leftovers tonight. No, I already recorded leftovers earlier today in the morning. That's why I was late today. That's why I've only done, I've only done six hours rather than more because I fucking was uh, recording. earlier today so we got a lot going on just call them poor a bunch yeah i will be doing that i love you all i really missed this experience it was a wonderful one overall i missed it a lot actually I do prefer desktop streams to IRL streams, not because of, you know, ad revenue or subscriptions or whatever the fuck the Xterto wrote about. I love IRL streams. I love doing IRL streams. I love them a lot, especially when I have like cool ass people that I get to uh, hang out with on the IRL streams. But the reason why I love the desktop streams is because one, it's better for my back because I get to sit down. And two, it's more personal. I love reading chat. Like... I love shooting the shit and reading chat and doing a whole bunch of stuff like that. And I don't get to do that when I'm doing IRL streams. Like I, I don't have that same 
constant back and forth, that interaction with chat that I, I that I really like. And I don't get to do that in the other format. So, love you all. Tomorrow, uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing the Rose Soda Poppin', so uh, I'm going to try to stream afterwards, but uh, no promises. But worst case, we're back fully full blown Saturday if that doesn't work out then but I will be trying to do an IRL stream again tomorrow after the roast is popping so I'm gonna try to fucking see, figure that out it's at 1 p.m. on the Austin show uh on the Austin show stream okay love you all and good night I'll keep you guys posted on my Instagram stories and on my social media, okay? Bye. Sudden Discord agit prop. Gray names take on race. Tiny Bernie Sanders, LGBTQ Air Force. The whole left at your fingertips, and Anya out your door. The age three Crowder debate, the Young Turks online show. Three full fucking years of this, and planning more to go. 90 day fiance, talks of champagne, bourgeoisie. A Trump rally live reaction, a mass riot in DC. There he is again, the sun is streaming, the sun is streaming, there he is again, the sun is streaming, the sun is streaming. Reading live stream fail comments, Austin show chat advice. All the ways the right wing 